Hey guys, Lawn Care Noob here again. And this time what I wanted to show you was a device that I just purchased recently from eBay. And this is a Digitech rain gauge. Um, so I'll just go through it with you. Um, it tells you the time, date, um, obviously the rainfall. And you can actually see the rainfall history. So um, if it was raining right now, it could tell you the uh, the rainfall rate per hour. Uh, you can do per day, per week, per month, um, and throughout the year as well. It actually keeps track of um, up to five years worth, apparently, of, uh, of the rain history. Um, and also, you the actual um, monitor itself, which is outside at the moment, um, it tells you the temperature outside it tells you temp the temperature inside and that's obviously being recorded uh, by this device here as well as the humidity and um, with the uh, units of measure you can change it so uh, you can have a look at it in millimeters as well as in inches so on the back here let's see here let's get that in focus for you so you can change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit, uh, millimeters to inches, um, and it's even got uh, an alarm in here as well. So I haven't really used that. The alarm. Um, it's got a snooze slash light button as well, so you can. It just lights up in the dark if you need it to. Um, and so with this, let's get that back in focus. So if I'm pressing the rain button, that's the one that cycles through uh, historical data. So um, the rate per hour, per day, um, per week, and so on. So I'll just go back to per day. And you'll see here, it actually um, graphs it out for you as well um, over the, the last 12 days. So the uh, x-axis is um, the days, and the y-axis is the actual, um, the rain recorded. Um, so I'll switch that back to millimeters, just like that. Um, and it's been pretty good. I mean, <clears throat> with the, the reason why I bought this rain gauge is because uh, I never know whether or not I should be watering my lawn because if it rained, I don't know how much it rained or when exactly it rained. Like I couldn't just rely on um, the weather bureau because that the recording might be some in some other area. It'll be in the in the same city, but um, I'm closer to um, the Dainong Mountains, and uh, that you know rainfall could have happened uh, here at my property. But then wherever it was recorded, there might have been no rain there or they may have just missed it. So having a rain gauge is really good because it's accurate to my property and exact to the millimeter. So that's the reason why I bought it, um, just so that I can track uh, how much rain falls on the property. And that way I know whether or not I need to water my garden as well as how much I need to water the garden. So we'll go outside and I'll show you the actual um, device itself that sits outside that monitors how much rain there is as well as the temperature. So here's the device itself and um, the reason why I've got it sitting here at the moment is uh, when I actually water my lawn using the sprinkler um, I have the sprinkler water landing inside there so that that way I can actually monitor how much water the actual lawn gets um, and because I just got this um, now I'm just yeah monitoring how much water output there is from the sprinkler once I know how much uh, water there is coming out of the sprinkler um, for a 20 minute or 30 minute uh, watering cycle and then at least I know exactly how much water comes out and I can take this and put it back on the fence up there so that that way um, it only records the actual rainfall and not 
what I what the lawn gets on the sprinkler as well. So just a simple mechanism. The water just lands in there, and then there's a um, there's a, uh, two buckets in here that just keep uh, flipping like that. It's got that motion, and then so based on that motion, it'll um, it'll detect um, how much water is in each of those buckets each time it um, empties it out and it empties it out automatically just through this grill here so that way I'm not always having to come out here to empty it it just self empties um, it's got brackets on the back there so that I can mount it onto a fence and I'll just put it back down there so that's the uh, monstering unit. So we're back inside and um, I accidentally picked up, well, when I picked up the monitoring unit outside, um, I, I accidentally um, tipped the bucket that was inside the actual unit itself. So it actually um, thought that uh, rainfall <laughs> had occurred. So now there's a 0 0.01 of an inch yeah, so that's kind of skewed my uh, recording, but that's all right. Um, so I guess what I'm trying to say, so with that, just be careful when you pick it up and move it around. Uh, you might get some false readings, um, but once you set it down, just leave it and don't touch it. So that's one of the things uh, to keep in mind. But yeah, so I, I think having a rain gauge um, on my property anyway, um, it's really good because I can monitor exactly how much rainfall there is. Um, that way I know whether or not I need to uh, water my garden using the sprinklers. Um, and if that's the case, I know how much I need to water as well. So anyway, so I just got this about a week or two ago, just trying it out and getting a feel for um, getting the right schedule. Um, and I'm also noting down how much uh, rain or when it rains as well or when I water so that way I can manage it hopefully that helps if you uh, like this video make sure you click like and put your comments below and if you want more videos make sure that you subscribe to my channel thanks very much